I'm Nathan Paul Odom. I've been trying to build community in this town for many years. I have a dream of Hamford shining for the whole world as a beacon of courage. I need the attention of this town. Please help me get it. Firefighters trying to figure out what sparked a fire at a food processing plant on the west side. It happened around 9.30 last night. This is in Salinas, a huge fire at a food processing plant. This is for Taylor Farms, and right now there are concerns about a huge... Airborne County, where investigators there are now combing through debris of a massive fire at a farming co-op. Video... Friday night, as many as 50 of the train's 150 cars derailed en route from Illinois to Pennsylvania. Today, the response focused on five cars carrying hundreds of thousands of pounds of vinyl chloride. Continuing to follow the fallout from the collapse of Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank. In the last hour, trading in several regional banks has been halted. And one of Your Royal Highnesses, Excellencies, distinguished heads of state and government, global energy systems, food systems, and supply chains will be deeply affected. I am calling on the people of Hanford to help me prototype my blueprint for community liberation. Civilization is collapsing all around us. It appears to be intentional, and it seems to be the final moves in a centuries-long strategic enslavement of our species by the ruling class. Concentrate on ideas and the structure of how people think. So memorizing things and writing it down on the test never happens in here at all. It, it doesn't happen once. You may have tests, but they won't have anything to do with paper and pencil. And just remember, a few minutes ago I said the play Julius Caesar is one of the important works of literature in the Western world. But if you don't remember a thing about Julius Caesar, and you begin to understand how to use these tools, you will have taken a giant step forward to being a powerful, independent human being. Let's very quickly... Mass schooling of the young by force is a creation of the four great coal powers of the 19th century. From the start, there was a purpose behind schooling, which had nothing to do with what parents, kids, or communities wanted, but concentrated on what a highly centralized economy and a strong political state was thought to need. What that was can be seen from this excerpt from a speech Woodrow Wilson made to businessmen in 1914. I'm quoting Wilson without changing a word. We want one class of persons to have a liberal education. And we want another class, a very, very much larger class of necessity, to forego the privilege of a liberal education and fit themselves to perform specific, difficult manual tasks. I'm Nathan Odom. I've lived here since I was two years old. I helped you save Hidden Valley Park, and it cost me my jobs. It was worth it. I organized downtown Hanford's monthly art hop for nearly five years and it took that long to grow it. I introduced an online calendar with open community submissions, which I gave up after a year of submitting all the events myself. <laughs> I hosted a weekly live show covering local news, politics, business, and culture. I've spent most of my adult life attempting to build community in Hanford, California. Because there's something about being in a place surrounded by art and music and community. The soul resonates with it, and it fights off the darkness so come out and fight off the darkness. And all throughout that decade of haphazard stumbles and leaps, I was researching and developing the plan that you're about to see. A plan that I tried to introduce in August of 2020. We're on the verge of a new world, but so long as we leave our future in the hands of those in power, this new world will not serve the best interest of humanity. In fact, it will run counter to what's best for those we love. My name is Nathan Odom, and I have a plan for world peace. It starts in Hanford, California, where I believe we are uniquely positioned to become a frontier town, to discover what's possible when we take responsibility for our common future and share our tools and our experiences with the world around us. 
If you choose to participate in this event, Hanford will soon be a place where truly nutritious food is abundant and accessible, where our schools meet the needs of the future by nurturing creativity and the discovery and the pursuit of passions, where our economy is local and inclusive, meaning the success of one is the success of all and our small businesses thrive. A place where our air and our water are made clean by teeming with the processes that support life on earth. And how we'll get there will be lots of fun. Books, music, good food and beer, game shows, and community. Sizdrad will be a community-owned business of three parts. A regenerative farm, a bookstore and restaurant, and a media-rich website. These three parts will cooperate in their supply and waste streams, sales channels, marketing, and purpose. The farm will work with nature to grow plants that are naturally resistant to pests and disease. The bookstore will sell fresh produce and meal prep, serve banquets, and host live productions like Art Hop and game shows, offering a dynamic and fun environment for families. Finding Hanford will host an online marketplace for local businesses, an interactive community calendar, and explore Hanford news, culture, and history through blog, video, and podcast, offering free and paid advertising to our small businesses, exploring who they are, not just what they sell. Community owned means that when we launch, locals will be able to buy in, and as we grow, see returns. Through this community owned company, support at all levels, from a social share to enjoying a meal or participating in a game show, will drive research and development, addressing needs in our downtown, our schools, and the growing of our food. Let vote now. Are you gonna pack the Make court? sure you, in fact, let people know he want you're to senator. The I'm not going to answer the question Why because. Why would you answer that? That's right. The coronavirus vaccine will likely be given in two shots a few weeks apart. Two years ago, I couldn't quite break through the noise, and my mother had just died, so I was not emotionally equipped to keep pushing. I didn't give up, though, because I don't. So I kept planning, and I'm very excited bring this plan to you now. I really hope you'll help me build it. Sizdrad is a living framework for communities to become self-sufficient, a blueprint for sovereignty and self-organization which can be replicated or adjusted according to a community's needs. This plan introduces a strategy for community sense-making, for organizing around the many facets of our collapsing civilization in order to collectively plan and build a free world. Sizdrad is a direct answer to the challenges we face moving forward it's a plan for the rapid reorganization of this town to provide its own needs from food and medicine to education, energy, entertainment, and defense. It will be owned and influenced by you and your neighbors and can be replicated anywhere in the world. It is a blueprint for community liberation and I would love to test it out in Hanford, California. Sizdriad is backed by research in biomimicry, cultural evolution, human psychodynamics, the anatomy of revolution, and even corporate survival. It is patterned after the forest, this planet's most efficient, resilient, and productive ecosystem. This image represents over a decade of research and development and mistakes, and it's a chance for Hanford to become a leader in a free world. This will work, but I cannot build it alone. This is a plan for peace on Earth, and it takes root in Hanford, California, if you will it so. Sizdriad will be a community-owned company. You will, in time, have the opportunity to buy shares, and starting now, you have a voice in deciding the path we take, the marks we leave on history. Sizdirad will be an amalgamation of modular but integrated business and social elements. These elements are modular in the sense that they can function independently of each other and integrated in that they cooperate in their supply and waste streams, branding, and purpose. And it's these relationships and the wisdom they reflect which will see our species out into the stars. The business elements include a regenerative farm, a bookstore and restaurant downtown, and a media company responsible for two unique websites, FindingHamford.com, a marketplace and directory for small businesses, broadcasts like news, podcasts, skits, and game shows, and a portal for community discussion forums. The Finding Hanford community-owned media model can easily scale to the valley and you will have a chance to own that company if you help me build it. <laughs> and the other website, sizdriad.com, sharing our story and our tools with the world and networking with revolutionaries abroad. The social elements of this plan include a school, a neighborhoods initiative, and community discussion forums. A school where students learn through self-direction and play, immersed in story, community, and real opportunity. The downtown shop and eventually the farm will serve as homeschool resource centers, welcoming all to participate in voluntary lessons, expedition initiatives, and most importantly, play. 
The Sizzgrad Expedition will support a Neighborhood Utopias initiative, where neighborhoods organize themselves at the block and neighborhood level to begin meeting their own needs in food, education, entertainment, and energy. Active neighborhoods will have access to their own private discussion forums within which to organize. Sizzgerod and Finding Hanford will provide support through sales of neighborhood goods and services and by facilitating training in food production, defense, dog training, etc. and help neighborhoods share their stories and experience with the larger community through blog, video, and podcast. The community discussion forums will be a place for local heroes to organize, where we will leverage the power of the crowd to develop solutions to our community's most pressing needs. The forums, too, will be modular and integrated. The Finding Hanford forums will organize around sectors like food, energy, economy, entertainment, communication, and defense to investigate the problems and identify solutions, as well as gather and validate local news and history, and accept, filter, and pay for community submissions. The Sizdrad forums will organize around the business and social elements, guide stones, and magic arts, and as solutions emerge in the Finding Hanford forums, it's here that we'll prototype new community and worker-owned initiatives. We'll also gather and validate world news and network with revolutionary projects abroad, collaborating on a directory, case studies, and the development of open source tools and resources. But first, these forums are a place for the people of Hanford to organize around designing a shared future. And together we prototype real solutions like a community and worker-owned hemp industry producing clothing, bricks, paper, plastics, medicine, fuel, cars, and aircraft, and entertainment parks with roller coasters, arcades, laser tag, paintball, go-karts, dirt bikes, obstacle courses, water rides, and escape rooms, and profits and discounts distributed locally because these companies will be owned and influenced by you and your neighbors. For now, visit the Finding Hanford and Sizdrad websites and start exploring. Both websites are under development. I'm one guy with a family to love and feed, animals to tend, books to read, and I am not a web designer. Even so, there's plenty to see and more to come. This expedition will headquarter at 301 North Dowdy, and I could really use your help getting the building ready to open before rent goes up in May. I'm trying to raise $30,000 to cover a few months' rent, clean up of the insane amounts of sheetrock dust, and to start working on electricity and plumbing. I'm raising this money with a GoFundMe and an Open Collective page. The Open Collective page will reflect overall donations as well as revenue and spending moving forward. Finances will be transparent and open to community discussion. This launch fund will be used solely for initiating this expedition. If you would like to support me individually, you can do so by the Open Collective's page under Projects, under Nate's Income. The priority is funding this expedition and spreading the word. Don't expect this to go anywhere on Facebook. It was never meant for building community. Talk to each other in the real world and help me gather the innovators. The threat is real, but so is the multiplying power of the human spirit. The magic that you bring to the world uh, is as much as you want it to be. The, the fact that you are here is incredible. Uh, existence itself is impossible. Think about it. I mean, existence itself, all of this, everything, it's impossible. It's impossible. But we're here. All right? So are the trees. So is the sky. So is our Mother Earth. Now, things that are impossible are worth protecting.